this is, uh, here we are, Earth. We got the sun, and we're looking at our solar system and uh, as part of our universe. And here we are, Earth, and it, we're in between two planets, Venus and Mars. Now, all the planets, uh, the ten planets, they, they're considered archetypal energies. And the archetypal energy for Venus is female energy and love. And the archetypal energy for Mars is male energy, war and aggression. So do you find it interesting that we're in between these two planets? And those are the two forces that battle heavily upon this Earth. So um, here we are going around the sun and uh, just trying to make the best of it here on Earth. Now, the planetary energies can be tapped into spiritually through meditation. And this is our spiritual body. You can see she's sitting in meditation, and these are the chakras, starting from the root chakra going all the way up to the uh, crown chakra, the seven chakras. And all of these uh, chakras resonate with planetary energy. And so when we get in alignment with the spiritual forces, we can be attuned to the cosmic forces. Now, here's the chart for the Sagittarius new moon, which was exact today at approximately 4, I think, 22. And just looking at this chart, you may say, my goodness, what's going on? What does this mean? Well, I cast the chart for Oakland, and the constellation that's rising in the east is, is right here, Gemini which means that the planet Mercury, the planet of communication, is ruling the chart. And that's why for this cycle, for the next four weeks, communication and business are very important in your work. So we look to the planetary ruler of Gemini Mercury, which is located right here in the sixth house. Now, if you notice this chart, how many people have seen a chart before? Nelsa? Yeah, from <laughs> From what? Math. From math. Math. You've seen an astrology chart from math? No. Well, what a chart is, is we take the date of birth, the time of birth, and the place of birth of an event, and we cast a chart. And this is what we get. And so each event, everything that happened has an astrological chart. Mm. So this is the chart cast for Oakland and... This is like what's going on in Oakland for this coming month. Well, the work is very important because if we look over here, there's six houses. One, two, three, four, five, six. It goes all the way around to 12. And each house is symbolic of a different area of your life. And so we were like wondering, here's this new moon, which means the sun and the moon, look at they're both 10 degrees in Sagittarius. That's the new moon. And when the new moon happened here in Oakland, they were just getting ready to set below the horizon. So, but the planet Mercury is in the sixth house of our work, our health, and our well-being. And, um, Scorpio. Hmm? Mercury's in Scorpio. Yes, Mercury's in Scorpio. Saturn's in Scorpio. Mercury's in Scorpio, Saturn's in Scorpio, the North Node is in Scorpio. And so we got a lot of Scorpio energy going on, even though the sun and the moon are in Sagittarius. And that's fire sign. And Sagittarius energy is all about expansion of consciousness, higher education, long distance travel, philosophy, publishing, teaching. And so those energies are going to be in the forefront, especially with people who have partnerships and businesses. Things will be going very well if any of those things are involved. So if there's any writing you want to do, publishing, apply for a job, for teaching, this is the time. It's very good for these next four weeks to be out networking and communicating with people and letting them know what you want, letting them know, you know that you would like to do business with them and to connect and try to connect and make partnerships. Because the new moon right here in the seventh house, which is the house of business partnership and relationships, is all about contracts and partnerships and marriage. 
So it's a good time for those things right now here in Oakland. Any questions? <laughs> now, this is a chart tone, which is an analysis of the 10 planetary placements of the energy of that chart. So if we look here, we see fire, water, air, and earth. So if we read across, we see that we have three planets in fire, which is good for business, high energy. We have four planets in water. We have Jupiter in Cancer, Mercury in Saturn and Scorpio. This is the destiny of the chart in Scorpio and Neptune in Pisces, which will be there for another 14 years. And we have zero planets in air. Zero. The air signs are Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So the, the, the main strength that they'll get is because Mercury is rising, which is the ruler of Gemini, as the ruler of the chart. But some people may not want to be talked about things that need to be talked about. So communication may be hard. You may have to tr try harder than usual to communicate with someone to find out what's really going on. And then the earth signs, which are practical, patient, industrious, we have three planets, Venus and Pluto and Capricorn and Mars and Virgo. And so if we read the, a chart down like this, we have four planets in cardinal. These are the signs that start the season. And we're getting ready to start the season of a uh, new season, winter solstice, when the sun gets into Capricorn toward the 21st of the month. So this is a good time to initiate new things. It's an excellent time for new beginnings. Regarding the things that I spoke about, the long distance travel, teaching, publishing, looking for a new job and establishing new relationships. We have two planets in the fixed signs, and that's Scorpio, which means you can be very resourceful, but there's going to be some delays, and it's, time, it's a good time to change things now, really. It's the time to start things and change things. <coughs> Keeping things as they are right now is not that strong. It's time for change, and that's a major theme for the, uh, the coming year. This last column, mutable, we have four mutable planets. And mutable planets are, are the people, are the signs that change things when the season's about to change. And so right now we're in Sagittarius. And um, like I said, the winter solstice is coming up in a couple of weeks, actually three weeks. So if you were to sum this all up, um, we get a formula where the energy, the dominant energy is Cancer and Pisces. Both of those are water signs. And that has to do with nurturing and paying attention to your feelings. Be true to yourself and your feelings on this new moon. And Sagittarius says you need to examine your philosophy and see if it's serving you. Are you living the life that you really want to live? So you need to question that because Sagittarius is all about, it's ruled by the planet Jupiter. It's all about expansion of consciousness. It's all about expanding from where you are now. So basically it's like stepping up. Now, this is a calendar, that, an astrological calendar, that I recommend for everybody to use Celestial Influences. It's one of the major, uh, it is the most uh, popular astrology calendar that kind of lets you know what's going on from day to day. And this is what December looks like. As you can see, today's the second, and you see the new moon. And then you see all the planetary energies that are happening on each day. And you'll see in two weeks, We'll be having the full moon, <coughs> and it'll be exact at 1.28 a.m. in the morning. So basically, you know, when I'm going to be doing part two of this, it's going to be on the 16th. And we'll be looking at that, and we'll be looking at uh, what's going to be going on in 2014 and talking about the spiritual significance of the winter solstice. So you can see every day what's going on with the planets. And if you know your astrology chart, how they're affecting you. Any questions? Okay, that calendar also has an ephemeris. And if you can look over here on the right, it says December 2013. Each planet is listed. Sun, Moon, Mercury, I'm reading from the top of the... Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. 
Each planet is listed so you can look every day and see where the planets are located and how they're affecting you. And there's 30 degrees in every sign. So the, uh, in astrology, we count 0 to 29 degrees. We don't count the 30th de degree. The 29th de degree goes to, the, after that, it goes to 0. And so the 0 is like a transition between the two signs when it's going into another sign. And so this is how you can keep up what's going on, and it's an excellent tool if you're interested in learning about astrology. Now, these are the astro keys in astrology that everyone needs to know. And basically, you have your keywords for your signs. Every astrology book on the planet starts with Aries. And it goes in that order, and the last sign is Pisces. Every book, it will be like that. And so you can read about your sign and just see some of the energy that your sign carries. So if we look at Sagittarius, benevolent, optimistic, extravagant, enthusiastic, and idealistic. 